I'm going to show you how to repair carpet with tools that you have around the house or are super cheap to get. You don't need to spend money on buying special carpet repair tools that you probably will not end up using more than once. This damage to the carpet was caused by a cat and someone started trimming it away and then gave up. So the most critical thing about carpet repair is that you need to have a piece of perfectly matching carpet or your repair will not be successful. Now the likelihood of being able to find a matching piece of carpet from a store is slim to none. So what professional carpet repair guys will do is see if there's a closet with the same carpet and use that for the repair and then install some other carpet in the closet. First, I'm going to cut out a rectangular area with clean straight edges. I don't have a carpet cutter, but I can make do with a tie plate that I happen to have lying around and a box cutter. The tie plate costs $1.38 plus tax at Home Depot. I'm running this metal plate across the bottom of the carpet to part the pile along a straight line. Kind of like how you would use a comb to part your hair. And then I'm using a box cutter to cut the carpet along the edge of the plate. Now I'm going to trace and create a template for the carpet piece that's going to fit into this rectangular opening that I just made. This process is a little awkward because I'm working with an odd shape, not a simple rectangle. I'm also marking where the tack strips are on the template.
So now I'm going to use the template to cut the replacement carpet piece. This is the carpet tape that I'm going to use to install the replacement carpet piece. I don't need a double-sided carpet tape, but I'm using this particular tape because it's easy to use, the adhesive is very strong and durable, and most importantly, it doesn't require a heat bond seaming iron. You do not have to do this, but I'm cutting away the excess paper because you might hear the crackling noise of the paper under the carpet when you step on it. I trimmed away the excess paper, but again, you don't have to do this. When repairing carpet, you need to be meticulous about two things which are equally important. One, you can't have large gaps between the replacement carpet and the existing carpet for obvious reasons. Two, you can't have any overlap between the replacement carpet and the existing carpet because any area of overlap will result in carpet that is not taped down because there's carpet under carpet and not adhesive under carpet. So you'll have a part of carpet that's just flapping. If you make that mistake, you can use glue gun to glue that part down, although it won't end up looking pretty. The bottom line is that the fit of the replacement carpet has to be very good for the repair to look nice. What I showed you how to do in this video would cost at a minimum a couple of hundred dollars if you were to call a professional carpet guy. Lastly, I'm going to take advantage of the tack strips that are under the carpet. I had marked their location on the template so that I can nail down the replacement carpet with a couple of nails. 